So I've got a big cutoff wheel on here. And what we've done, we've framed these windows out here. So now we've got to go back and trim out the skin where the window is. So I'm just going to kind of run this right along the edge of my inch and a half square tubing along the, you know, the entire window and then just pop that chunk out. So I'm going to cut it out. time I cut one of these out and it fell right. out of the window and it cut my extension cord because it fell right on the cord. So these are real sharp so be careful because if it comes down and slices down into your skin, it's not going to feel good. Hello. When you pop them all loose, then it binds this one corner when you finish. You know how you had a little trouble getting back in this one? Yeah. So if you leave them all intact and then knock them out, it'll be a smoother process. Okay. Give it a shot. All right. Pretty much broke free, I think. I don't come out. How do you? I, yeah, I, go, go a little more. Yeah, make it so it's just a barely of a sliver holding that on. That won't break. Put the ladder right in front of it. Yeah, like that. Get off of me, fly. Yeah, leave him alone. He's my friend. I got a little bit of hang off too, so that does give me that center space as far as those go, and then just hit right in the middle. Yeah, that, and that's great because then it then it doesn't don't have any high sides or anything. So with, with the way these Bluebird rub rails are designed, they're designed for this top piece to be like sealed flat. You can tell up here, this is completely flat the whole way. So this gets a good seal. On the bottom side, you can tell that each rivet is kind of recessed and this part is raised. That's so if water does penetrate in here, it can drain out of this whole section here. So when I'm sealing this, I make sure to seal this whole top edge really nicely. And then I just seal over every hole here so each rivet gets sealed up real well so there's no water penetration into the inside. But then that allows the water just to run out. Hopefully on this top hole, it'll suck up tight, at least up to this skin. And then I'll have you put some washers in it from the other, from the inside to suck it down good. Rivet all these panels in place. And then we cut out the windows, as you guys have seen. But what we do from that point is we put a clamp on here and clamp this together and we weld this up. So there's a whole bunch of little stitch welds on here and we need to grind those flush this way and flush this way. 
That way the window can slide back in perfectly. So that's what I'm getting ready to do is grind that down. And then I'll squirt some paint on there and repaint it. This will be in your top hole. Yeah. And then your ED, you know, use your I use the corner piece. Yeah, use your pattern to actually or your paper to actually square that out. You don't have to put it all. Make my line here and get a cut. Yeah, you can for sure, yep. And then I can cut that section yeah. out. Um, um, yeah. Get but the I, rivets I in first. That way it's absolutely, you've got your, your points set exactly where you need them. So I pre-drilled some holes. Now I'm attaching this paper. I'm gonna start building the pattern for the top. I'll make a cut here. This piece slides underneath. I'll attach some more paper here and then start working on the bend for the transition. put in this will affect the way it folds. So the cleaner you can keep them better. So then you take this piece and put it back up there, click it in place, bend it over, and see where you need to add more pieces or cut it. Little by little, it'll be a shape. Looks good though, man. Looks really good. He puts five lines on there and wants me to cut one of them. Don't cut, cut the inner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I'm messing up my artwork. Oh, literally, this would be a better visual for you now. Yeah. So we've got this right side on, and hopefully we will flip it over and see if it fits on the left side. If it doesn't fit exactly, we'll have to make some changes to it. And after those two are set up, we will do the center one. And that will be one piece along the middle, and it'll have a cutout for the window. 